Hello, it's Randy for Thunder Horse Ascendant, and I'm here today with the full guy. This is um, Softlex Peace and Love Project number three. So this is three number three of four projects that we planned for the Peace and Love kit from Softlex. Super excited about it. So um, these were the ones that were giving me a little trouble in the design process. Let me just put this over here. <clears throat> these were those little peeps. I call them peeps. I don't know if they're peeps or pips. Pippy peeps. They're pippy peeps. That's those. And um, like in the design video, they were giving me a little bit of trouble, but I think I got an idea down for them. They're supposed to kind of look like half a little flower. So we're going to do a cute little bracelet. So super excited. Hope you guys will come along for the journey and we'll get down to the mat. Get this party started. Alrighty, my party peeps. Here we are down on the mat. So, if you watched the, um, the plan video for this, I kind of did a couple of these up just to see how it was going to look. This is kind of the idea. Um, this is the first one I tried where I thought I could do it on wire, but I probably could, but it doesn't look as good as it does with the flexible soft flex wire. So I'm just going to take these apart. So in my head, because I've never made one of these before, uh, in my head, this is going to work out pretty well, I think. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Okay. So I'm going to do a lot of looping. So I'm going to get a little bit of wire here. We are making a bracelet. I don't know how much wire we're going to need, but I'm going to make sure I have, hopefully, enough here. And let me see. So, ideally, I'm going to be able to loop around with one, so I should be able to put my findings on. I'm not going to use um, a bead cover or anything. I'm just going to grab up um, a crimp tube and a clasp. Because I want to use a bronze clasp since we are going to go ahead and use the the metallic bronze softlex wire. So let me just see what I got in my little drawer down here. Hmm. Kind of want to use a small one just so it doesn't get overpowered by anything. So I think I'll go this this way. This is just a little bronze um, toggle. It's just plain, but I think maybe that's the best way to go. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Do not need that many. I'm just gonna use a um, crimp tube and. I'm going to crimp right on to the end here. And we shall get going on this. Alright, so we're going to crimp. Make sure those are not twisted. Spin this way. Roll it on over. Okay, pull test looks good. And we are ready to rock. So to start out with, I think I will add one of these guys because if you watched one of my videos the other day, I made it, I made, started making the design too close to the toggle and then the, the toggle struggled to get through. So I am just going to add one and then we shall start. So I'm going to add one and then my second one. And this is where it should be pretty simple to add these little guys. So I'm going to put one, two, 
three. And then loop this around the bead and come back through this way. Oh, Mr. Bunsen is crying. Okay. Got it through there. So I just am going to pull this bead pretty close down to the next one because I don't want it to leave space. And I'm going to loop it through there. This is what it looks like. I'm just tightening it up. And I want these guys to remain in the position in which I want them to be in. Smashing. So that's the first one. Now, I think this is just going to go. the way I want it to. So I'm going to add a spacer one. Originally I was going to put them back to back but I don't think that's going to be possible because the little pips or peeps or whatever we're calling them those are going to touch. Um, I guess I could do it on the top. I could do it on the top I guess right on this side but I kind of wanted it to look like lace. But if you wanted to do it on the top, you could. That it would kind of look scalloped. I'm just going to keep going with my original design here. Because when they hang down, I want them to all hang one way. So then loop it around and then get back through this bead here. And get a hold of the tail. So now I want to move this bead close before I pull it tight. And I'm going to kind of hold on to it. Make sure these are kind of in line. Oh, hey, this is going to be super cute, you guys. Super cute. We might even be able to get a couple of these out of here, honestly. Okay, this is my spacer one. Here's my, my actual bead. And one, two, three. Oh, yeah. Also, you guys, I really enjoy these colors together. When I was looking at all the colors, with these little pips and I was just like why are these baby pink now I get it okay so then come back through this one get a hold of the tail move it down oh yeah this is so cute. I'm so excited because I never made one of these before. Super cute. And it's not taking that much time, honestly. Spacer. Next bead. I am glad that I got a little more wire than I knew I was going to need because I'd rather have more wire than not enough. And with all this looping around we're doing... I think we're going to need some. Mm -hmm. Okay, pull this down. Oh. Okay, so I feel like, you see there's a little space. So when I was pulling on it, I got space. I don't want that, so I'm going to back this up a little bit. And I'm going to pull this by pulling both of these cords down a little further. And hold it in place as I tighten it up. Yeah, now that space is gone. Uh, 
Alrighty. Spacer bead. You guys, we're like already almost halfway done. This is kind of fun. <laughs> it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like nodding a little bit. And you know how I enjoy that. So hold on to that. It's important that you hold on to it as you're tightening, I can see. Cute. And this wire, I don't know if it says on here. Stainless steel, nylon coated. Okay, so the nylon coating is really helping it to grab onto itself. And um, so like once I get it wrapped, I can kind of like, it's not really moving anywhere from where I get it into place because it's kind of biting onto itself, which is nice. So I like that. My spacer bead, I forgot. Okay. And bring it around. To it. Oh, you guys, look how cute it is. Okay, let me see where we're at. Yeah. Okay, so I have this in the middle of my wrist down here. So I have a little tiny wrist. Um, I don't know that I will make this specifically for me or not. So we're about over halfway. Oh, hi, Mr. Bunsen. So that would fit me. I take that back. I don't know that we're going to be able to get two out of here, but regardless, this one we are getting is very cute. And I think I do have more of these types of pippy, pippy beads rolling around. If not, I know I have daggers, so that's always cool. I love me some daggers. And it's Halloween time, I mean, come on now. I know normally I, I'm like, okay, I'll meet you at the end, but I don't know. I mean, it's not really taking a whole lot of time, so I'm like, whatever. It's fine. We have the spacer, and then this one. You guys, these would also look really cute with, um, I might do some of these with the Old Faithful class because I know I got lots of fire polish beads. I don't, I think, they, what are these, sixes or eights? I can't remember. I have to look at the manifest. But, um, even like larger or smaller ones would be cute. These ones actually work pretty well, though, for putting these little teeny pips on. I swear I thought I just received somewhere some more of these little pips in a box, but maybe I'm, maybe that's not true. Maybe I'm just imagining that. Or maybe they were little daggers. Maybe that's why. Oh, that's my spacer bead. That's the second time I've done that. <laughs> there we go. One, two, three. Okay. You guys, <laughs> Jeff's mowing the yard right now. So if you hear that, sorry. 
Um, and Mr. Benson is really upset about it. <laughs> He's like, what is that noise? Move it down into place. Hold it there. Yas. Beads are bead. Actual bead. You guys, this would also be like a super cute little, like if you had enough to keep going, uh, maybe in your stash or something, this would be like a super cute, like little portion of a necklace, maybe like a, maybe a summery flower type or a springtimey, one that goes, you know, all the way around, or just like the, the little focal part like this, that would be cute. I'm digging it. Okay, I think this is our last one. I think this is our last one. And then we have this guy. And the reason I say that is because I only got two pips left, so I can't do anymore. <laughs> no more can be done on that. So, let me see. Oh, but no more is needed. I got this little tiny wrist, it's really like, it's um, about six and a fourth, so you know the, once we get this on there, even that'd be too big for me. So this will be about um, I'm gonna guess like six and a half, six and three fourths. So let's get the end on it. My camera's about to die. Hey guys, had to switch batteries. <laughs> okay, so we were just saying we're gonna put the end on here. So I got my crimp tube on there. Just gonna crimp right on to this guy here. Go back through this bead, which I know fits because I've gone through I don't know how many already. Get a hold of that. Oh, hi, Mr. Bunsen. Mr. Bunsen's jumping all over my chair. So, when I'm crimping this, normally I would move this crimp, you know, up a little ways because we got to get gravity involved and make sure it's doing well. But for the most part, when you're using this flexible wire, it's pretty good. But I, what I'm going to do this time, as you know, something I wouldn't normally do is um, I'm going to crimp, I'm going to push the crimp down to, to this bead as, as close as I can get it and then crimp it instead of moving it up to the middle. The reason for that is because I do have this wire is tightened based on what this wire is doing. So I want to make sure that, you know, I got it in the right spot. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and crimp. I'm not using any other findings anyway, so, you know. Not too terribly worried about it. Crimp looks good. I'm going to give her a snip. And I did pretty good with the wire situation. So happy about that. So now I'm just going to kind of rough it up a little bit just to get everything, you know, used to being where it needs to be. And then we should be good to go. And we are. That's what it looks like. I will get you guys some pictures. Super cute. The toggle goes through well.
I think, yeah, with a little bit of a, a little bit of wear, these are going to relax a little smidge, but not too much, which is good. That's what it looks like, you guys. I'm so happy with it. I had a few beads left, so we'll put those in the few beads left cup and see see what that can do. Anyways, I hope you are all enjoying these videos. If you are, please let me know down in the comments. You guys, this one was super fun. Really enjoyed it a lot. Something I'd never made before. And if you've made this design or you've seen somebody do it, I don't know. I have no idea. I'm late to the party, but I had a good time. <laughs> so, um, also, it does show off a little bit of the wire, which is cute. So, I don't know. I'm digging it. So, this was um, project number three from Peace and Love Softlex soft flex kit design if you need to visit soft flex um, I have them linked in the bio but please visit softflexcompany.com if you're looking at picking up this little design kit it's retails for $33.95 and not just this but all of the beads that we've been working with in this mini series I will link um, <clears throat> excuse me I will link uh, the unboxing video at the end here so you can give it um, so if you can see it, if you hadn't had a chance to see it already. Um, but yeah, so I hope you're all having a wonderful, spectacular, amazing day. I'll get you some photos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.